Thanks, Mel. Now, if you've ever found shark teeth at the beach, it can be a once-in-a-lifetime find, but our next guest makes it makes a living out of it. So joining me now is Kristen Whitecross, the owner of FossilizedInFlorida.com. And all these, you know, art pieces that you've made out of shark's teeth are incredible. First, I want to know, where the heck do you find them all? <laughs> I actually go digging in the middle of the state in all the freshwater rivers and creeks. So freshwater creeks and rivers. A mm -hmm. lot of people think shark teeth beach. Yes. Is that something you knew or something you found out later on? Well, uh, my best friend Stephen told me about it in the uh, middle of the state where you can go. And it, under uh, millions of years ago, it was all under ocean water. And after the time it changed and the land masses changed, it all became fresh water. So it's like digging on the bottom of the ocean millions of years ago. That's awesome. So what got you interested in finding these shark's teeth and then creating art out of them? Well, um, out of my obsession with mermaids, oh, cool. <laughs> I decided uh, one day, I was like, wouldn't it be cool to make a shark tooth mermaid? So I decided to make one and that was my first creation and it took off from there. That's incredible. So let's explain some of the pieces you have right here because these are not the little shark's teeth that we're used to seeing at the beach. These are huge, some of them yeah. weighing very heavy. <laughs> So uh, explain some of these pieces here. I see you have a pineapple um, over there. You have some necklaces as well. Yes. Um, these are some of the teeth I find, the smaller teeth. Those are mostly bull sharks with the pineapple and the um, palm tree. And then um, I use sea glass for the ferns oh, and for the top of the pineapple. That's awesome. And some of the necklaces and the bracelets that you have, I see right here. Um, explain some of the creativity and how you have motivation to create some of these pieces. Well, um, I always think of what, you know, the people would like. I try mm -hmm. to match the shock tooth with the charm and, you know, the different uh, sea colors I try to incorporate in them. That's incredible. I love these. These are so gorgeous. A lot of people think shark teeth guys jewelry no it's, no. it's women's jewelry you can make it women's <laughs> that's awesome and i also want to point out to the right we are huge jags fans and this is an incredible piece right here if we can zoom into this jaguars poster so you have several shark teeth in this whole art yeah, piece right mm -hmm. they're all shark teeth and sea glass so how long did it take you to create something like this um this took me if i put all the time together mm -hmm. about a week wow yes so what made you come up with the idea of making, like, uh, you know, the Jags emblem? Well, um, I met my friend uh, Lance on his website, thefossilluminati.com, and he saw some of my artwork, and he said, uh, you, you know, he's a huge Jags fan, and he thought it would be a good idea to make a piece for the owner of the Jags because he's done so much for the community. Yeah. So we wanted to uh, present him with a piece. That's so we so collaborated cool. on it. I did the artwork and uh, Lance did all the framing and the pictures. That is so unique, especially being in Florida. You know, I think that's something really cool to uh, bring football and, and the beach together and think yes. about that. So I'm, I'm seeing right here on the table, if we can zoom in here, a lot of the shark's teeth are huge. And what's the largest or heaviest shark tooth you've ever found? Um, it would be that one. It's five inches long. This one? Right here. Five inches long. That's incredible. Yeah. So how do you feel when you stumble upon something like this? Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I use words I shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can imagine finding something like this, you know, in a river or a pond. Yeah. Uh, so do you ever do some research to find out what kind of sharks these come from or how yeah. old they are? Well, we do that on his website. It's like a community for all fossil hunters. Okay. You know, if you're not sure of something, you can upload the picture. And, you know, we have the experts telling us, you know, what they are and stuff. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, if you want some more information on Kristen's work, are some of the jewelry pieces for sale? Yeah, everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. So you can go to fossilizedinflorida.com. She has all of the information there on how you can buy any of these art pieces or some jewelry. And of course, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Thanks. We'll be right back.